alt equals, and we're gonna put uh, let's call this inspired names. Oh, we'll put this wordle, um, wordle names. Now, alt means if the image doesn't show up, let's say the image got deleted, then this text would show up in place of the picture. So that's important in case um, your web server goes down and you'll, you'll know what picture is missing by that name. Okay? And so, and so I'm going to close my parentheses. Now, where are we going to uh, send it? Like when I click on Michael Gilbert, where is it going to send it? We have to say uh, where. Okay? Um, now I'm going to go href, remember that's a link, equals, and I could send it like to index.html or wherever I want to, right? But for this case, I'm going to send it below the page as an anchor to his name, okay? So to do that, um, I'm going to use the pound symbol, okay? So href equals pound, I'm going to call him Gilbert, close and close bracket. Okay, so that's what we have for our code. So now we can close our what? What's still open? Our ID. So we can close map ID like that. And then we're done with that part. Now we have to say, okay, when you click on Michael Gilbert, it's going to go to his name or his picture or something. So I'm going to put in uh, Michael Gilbert for my text. Okay. Maybe I'm going to put in an image above it too. So IMG SRC equals. Now for his picture, um, you don't. For pictures, you don't have to insert pictures like um, inside your folder. Um, for example, see we have our folder of pictures. The pictures don't always have to be in there. Let's say you have a picture on Facebook, a picture on Flickr, a picture on the web. You could link it straight to that picture. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so it's not like we're 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 not taking the photo. We're just redirecting the person to that person's website. So. Um, this is a picture of Michael Gilbert, and then I went ahead and got other pictures like Clark Little. I'm not sure if you know of Clark Little, but he's a really famous uh, ocean photographer. He has um, really cool photography on how waves. Uh, you should Google him, My, um, Clark Little. He has some really inspiring work. But right now I'm just doing uh, Michael Gilbert. So I'm going to copy the link to where his picture was. And by the way, if you're doing a Google search, so let's say I was doing a Google search on Clark Little. So these are some of the images that uh, br got brought up from Clark Little. So as you notice, he's a very talented photographer. So if I wanted this photo, I would click, um, click on it, and then click on it, and then copy this code. Now, we're not taking this photo. You're not going to be saving this photo to your... Um, to your own folder because if that was the case you'd want to use a photo that doesn't have copyright because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want us using his picture on our personal site but we're, and in that case we would do a Google search or a Flickr search for, in the Creative Commons for um, copyright free stuff but this is um, we're just redirecting the page so we can go into our text edit and when it says image source equals, all we do is paste in that link that we just got, okay? And then we can close it. Now don't, it, make sure that your uh, link ends with a JPG or a PNG or a picture file. Otherwise, if it's a .com, you didn't get the picture, you just got the website, okay? So we got Michael Gilbert. So let's go ahead and try that, make sure it works. So I go up to here, I hit Command R to refresh, and there is the picture of Michael Gilbert. And I'm going to put some more line breaks, and I'm going to put a line break 
right here between Michael Gilbert and I'm gonna bold his name and then I'm gonna put a uh, short a uh, couple sentences of why he inspired me photographs okay just something simple like that so after you have uh, written a short description of why that person inspired you you can save it now I want the link to link to Michael Gilbert is um, his place so uh, anchor we're gonna insert an anchor here for Michael Gilbert so remember anchor is a name a space name equals quotation and then uh, the word we use I think it was Gilbert okay and then we can close our a right here okay so a name equals Gilbert that's our anchor so when we click up here on our use map for Michael Gilbert it's going to take us down to Michael Gilbert on the page click on Michael Gilbert boom it goes to Michael Gilbert okay finish and do uh, Dana Forsberg the other two oh but home let me explain how to do home home H is for home I want you to do home and this is gonna be a circle circles are a lot easier uh, for circles all you have to do is pick your middle point okay so like in this case we would pick um, we would pick this point right here and then we would decide how big of a circle we want it to be so what point do you think is right in the middle of the H here remember the Y the Y is that's 0 and then this is 500 for the Y so what would be our circle for our X and a Y what would it be Four hundred by what? All right, we'll try. Four hundred by four hundred. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and copy the area shape, and I can do it. Put it right underneath the previous area shape. And instead of rec, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a circle, and the chords are only three chords. What did you say? Four hundred by. 400 you want to try that and then the size the third one is the size so zero is like really really small and then like it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as the number gets bigger so let's just try uh, 150 and then for the alt that's fine and this is going to be href is going to go to where index.html right because it's going to go home so I hit save, go to my Firefox, hit refresh. Hey, you guys are pretty good. Look at that. So notice it's on my home. So it's pretty good. And I click on that, and boom, I'm back to the index. So good guess, guys. I'm 400 by 400. Now you'll want to make sure that circle is really precise or generally precise around it. And then you're good to go. So that's how you do image maps.